Dear friends, welcome to another video. Today we will see how to program this little Arduino device. This device, you see, is an Arduino Pro Mini. It is working in 5 volts and 16 MHz. It is a fully capable Arduino device, like the bigger brothers of it. And we will take a look how to program it, because there is no uh, program uh, hardware in this little device. But first of all, let's compare it with its bigger brothers. I have to zoom out a bit and now I will place next to it an Arduino Nano. As you can see, it is a lot smaller. It has no USB, as you can see, or other circuitry under this. This little um, circuit is missing. And that is very important. Let's compare it with the Arduino Uno, the bigger brother of the two. And lastly, we have an Arduino Mega here. All those devices are Arduino. They all operate in 16 MHz and 5 volts, and they have similar capabilities. This Uno and the Nano and the Mini and the Mega are almost the same in power and um, capabilities. Why do we need to use the smaller one? Because in some projects we need low power consumption and small size. The bigger one, this Arduino Mega, has a lot of pin outputs that uh, can help us easily prototype our projects. When we build something and we see that we don't need so many pins, we can shrink our project to an Arduino Nano or a Mini. But all the bigger brothers of this Mini have embedded circuitry in order to transfer the sketch, the program you write, for the Arduino to run. Those chips are found here. This is the chip that is responsible for programming the processor. In this nano, the, this chip is here. And in the Arduino Uno is this one here. But in the Arduino Pro Mini, that chip is missing. So we need an external circuit to program this little device. In order the device to be small and uh, cheap, any mm, external circuitry that is uh, needed is removed. So, the difference between the Nano and the Mini is that the Mini has no USB connection and it does not have the circuit to program the processor. So, we need external circuit to program it. We can buy it from any online store, it is very cheap, it is a chip like this. As you can see, it has a USB input. This chip, the FTDI, to program the processor, and the pin output. In order to program the Arduino Pro Mini, we have to connect this device which you can find and uh, buy it from the link in the description of this video. We have to connect this device with the Arduino Pro Mini and it is very easy. Let's do it. If we turn the Arduino Pro Mini around, we can see the pin out and the pin names of the device. In order to program the device, we have to use those pins to connect those pins with the programming device. Those pins exist exist here as well. So, the first, the DTR here, the first pin is named DTR, the second RX, TX, PCC, and so on. We connect them, we connect them so they match. Okay, DTR goes here. We can connect it like this or we can use wires like any other project. Okay, now that is disconnected, we can plug this in 
to the computer to power it on via the USB. Okay, we plug this in this way, and now the power is on. The computer has to recognize our device, and now the Arduino Pro Mini is powered on. The LED is blinking as you can see so let's write a simple program to reprogram this Arduino Mini to execute another program. I'm moving to the computer now. Okay we are now ready to program the Arduino. I have modified the standard blink program in order the uh, LED stays to stay on for two seconds and off for 100 milliseconds so we have to go to tools board select our board it is an Arduino Pro Mini 5 volts 16 megahertz and now we have to compile and upload our program when the procedure is starting the LEDs are now flashing okay it's now programmed you can see the result LED stays on for two seconds and off for 100 milliseconds it is that easy as you can see there is a small blink let's make it a big a bit bigger let's program it again programming now okay we're ready on for two seconds off for half a second That's how easy it is to program an Arduino Pro Mini. If your uh, connection is not good, the programming will not succeed and you have to connect it with cables. It's very easy. You can make it. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'll see more about the Arduino Pro Minis in future videos. Thank you very much.